Is there anything worse than finding a hair in your burger? I'm sorry to tell you that there absolutely is. Every day around the world, the most horrendous things are being done to the food you eat, and a lot of it's done on purpose. So with that, let's take a look at some of the worst people doing the most unhygienic things to food. Gutter oil. Walking through the streets of Shenzhen, China, you might be mistaken for thinking this woman is cleaning the sewers. What she's actually doing is harvesting the main ingredient for China's black market gutter oil. This disgusting food stuff is made by scooping up mounds of refuse oil from behind cooking establishments that solidified in the sewers. Then it's processed and combined with other animal fat and dirty oils to make a recycled cooking oil. It's an illegal and cheap alternative to new clean oil which is in high demand around China. China. Food safety experts have recognized that a polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon found in these oils can cause major gastrointestinal damage and trigger cancers in cases of long-term consumption. At its peak, it's thought that one-tenth of all cooking oil in China was a form of gutter oil. And they wonder how a certain virus started. Kasu Marzu Cheese has many different and delicious forms, except for one of those forms which is illegal for what people have done to it. This is Casu Marzu, made in Sardinia, Italy. It's a cheese comprised of sheep's milk and maggots. You heard that right, Casu Marzu literally means rotten cheese. After the fermentation process, which sees the curds of milk separated from the whey, residents of Sardinia just leave this abomination outside until it's infested with eggs from the Pyophilia casey fly. The resulting maggots then eat the cheese and poop it out to give it a softer texture. Yep, this cheese is literally maggot poop. It's considered to be a traditional delicacy in Sardinia, but the rest of the world has seen reason and it's illegal to sell for obvious health reasons. One being that the maggots are not removed from the cheese when it's consumed, which has put several people in the hospital with cases of pseudomyosis. In English, that means insect eggs being laid in the skin of the intestine. Excuse me while I throw up in my own mouth. <laughs> Medium rare chicken strips. There are some pretty obvious reasons why we cook food. In some cases, it tastes better and improves texture. But in others, it stops us from contracting serious diseases from foods like raw meat. However, this is a memo that seems to have missed some people, like the creator of medium rare chicken strips. Sadly, this chicken isn't any kind of gourmet, and simply braising the bird isn't going to stop the eater from potentially catching salmonella. Although in Japan, a similar dish called chicken sashimi is served on the same principle. The main difference is that specific parts of the chicken known to carry the lowest risk of salmonella contamination are used instead. Regardless of this, I can't express this clearly enough. If you don't want to get sick, cook your damn chicken. Foot dough. Traditional bread making methods don't always involve the use of machinery or hands. And as gross as it may seem, sometimes the whole operation relies on a worker's feet. In some of these places, batches of dough are made in such huge quantities that it's easier to knead the bread in this manner. The purpose of kneading bread dough is to form gluten, which is a combination of water and proteins. The more bread is moved around, the more gluten is formed, which in turn helps the bread to rise. Most recipes don't call for any foot fungus to be added in though. This gag-worthy method is still popular in India, but not many people tend to appreciate it, which was found out by the famous Kakida Hotel eatery back in 2017 when one of their workers was spotted kneading bread with his feet on the roof of the establishment. I don't care if it's tradition, keep your feet away from my food. Burger King Foot Lettuce Number 15, Burger King Foot Lettuce. Actually, this is number five, but I can't resist a good meme. In 2012, a Burger King employee had a light bulb moment and decided to take a photo of himself standing on the lettuce that Burger King puts in its customers' burgers. Shoes on and zero f**ks given, there's no end to the gross possibilities of what was transferred from this Cretan shoes to people's food. Taking it one literal step further, he decided to show off by posting the image anonymously on the image board site 4chan. But if there's one thing you don't mess with, it's the food of internet nerds. 
understandably furious that they could be chowing down on this themselves. Anonymous members of the message board revealed the EXIF information of the photo and discovered it was probably taken at the Burger King of Maryland Heights, Ohio. Anons claims to have pulled a Karen and demanded to speak to the manager, which resulted in the faceless employee's termination. Remember kids, 4chan is never your friend. Street Food Sometimes it's not the food you're eating that makes you sick, but the plate you're eating off of. A prime example of this comes from someone spying on the Raj Banana restaurant in Kuala Lumpur. Just watch as workers clean the restaurant's canteen trays in the dirty water of a sinkhole in the street. There is no knowing what kind of chemicals and filth could be lurking in that dirty puddle. A recent study on the microbiology of puddles found they contain a wide variety of bacterial taxa which can cause serious human diseases. Fortunately, the Federal Territory's Health Department shut this restaurant down after this video went viral. I mean, I love me some dirty Indian food, but this is going too far. Bee Moki The only time you should be working with this many bees is if you're a beekeeper. But if you're a bakery stall in China, this is apparently just another day in the office. This vendor is rolling out Moki Cakes, a sweet treat with layers of sugar and black sesame seeds which has accidentally attracted a huge swarm of honeybees. But that's not stopping this worker. If anything, they're rolling the occasional bee into the mixture. In some cultures, swarms of bees like this aren't seen as a nuisance, but indicate the produce is fresh and sweet to consumers. Although that fails to take into consideration that bees land on a wide variety of surfaces, and as their legs touch the moki, whatever is on their legs is transferred over, which could contain anything from pollen to poop, suddenly this tree doesn't seem too sweet. Jaggery Making most of you won't have heard of jaggery before, and after this you may never want to hear its name again. Jaggery is a type of traditional, non-centrifugal cane sugar that originated in Asia. Sugar canes are crushed to extract their juice, which is then placed in a large flat bottom pan and boiled until the juice becomes a solid sugary mass. Once it's thick enough to mold, it's scooped up from the pan. This is usually done with scoops that have an extended handle. But if you're this incredibly unhygienic worker, you just get right on into that pan without your shoes. These guys are scooping up product around their clearly filthy feet. His co-worker at least has a pair of sandals on, but somehow that just makes this whole process worse. This isn't a traditional delicacy I'll be trying anytime soon. Costco Egg Supplier at Costco, you can buy 15 dozen eggs for less than $20. That's unbelievable, until you learn about the real price. An undercover investigation back in 2015 infiltrated Hildell Farms Gettysburg facility, a large egg supplier of Costco. The harrowing footage released to the world shows chickens in inhumane and unhygienic conditions where their eggs fall past the corpses of long-dead mummified chickens into small collection baskets. A lot of the time, the eggs appear to end up on the floor. In these cage conditions, studies have shown that there's a significantly higher chance these eggs carry the salmonella virus. In 2015, Costco pledged to remove caged egg products from its supply chain, yet we're here in 2020 seeing a lot of cage use egg products listed on its website. Maybe it's time Costco took a hint from its own internal slogan, do the right thing. Hot Dog Pink Taco if you're ever eating out, make sure you're nice to your server. If you're not, you never know what they might do to your food. This is Nora Bryant, a waitress at the Dime Cafe in Minnesota, California. One afternoon, a particularly rude customer drove her to dispatch justice in one of the most unhygienic ways possible. She shoved the customer's hot dog up her, uh, pink taco. She then removed the hot dog and served it up. A weird move considering there's already enough yeast in the bun. You'll be glad to know that since this CCTV footage leaked, she was fired from the Dime Cafe. With those standards of hygiene, she's probably now working at a Burger King. Checkers Burgers It's not news that fast food workers aren't always the cleanest of staff, but an employee working at Checkers cranked that claim up a notch. This video taken inside the restaurant in Baltimore, Maryland shows the employee purposefully dropping the bun onto the floor and giving it a good wipe over the tiles before preparing the burger for consumption. Before any of you say five second rule, enough bacteria has transferred during that time to make someone very sick. A busy kitchen environment like this is bound to have hair and skin cells all over the floor. Not to mention whatever has been brought in on the bottom of the worker's shoes. Did you order that with a sign of Ebola? 
he to spit. There's nothing wrong with getting a late night snack, unless you're trying to get that snack from Pita Pit. This video shows a Pita Pit employee in Missoula, Montana trying to deal with a difficult 3 a.m. customer. After the customer dares the sandwich maker to spit in her food, the employee leans down and hacks loudly into the customer's sandwich. She then throws the sandwich at the customer before trying to clamber over the counter. This is incredibly gross on several levels, but people spitting and licking food consumed by an unknowing customer could spread any communicable diseases they have. Fortunately for this customer, crazy isn't contagious. KFC Exposed but if you thought Pita Pit was bad, just wait till you find out about KFC. With over 20,000 locations across the globe, KFC is the world's fourth largest food chain, so you'd expect standards to be much better than this. What you're seeing is a Chinese KFC employee reserving fries that had previously been thrown into the trash. Doing this at all is disgusting, but in clear view of customers, it's just another level of filth. But KFC's unhygienic practices don't end there. This footage from an anonymous source in South Africa allegedly shows KFC workers washing chicken by throwing it onto the ground outside and jetting it with a hose. It's unclear if it's just water or a chemical disinfectant solution. Either way, this is definitely not the right way to be preparing anyone's meal. Did you think I was done? Sorry, but I saved the best for last. Another branch of KFC in America was exposed by two disgruntled employees back in 2017. This video shows their daily work practices of dumping uneaten food back into storage containers when it's clearly gone past its expiration date. And then we feed it to the customers again. So the same food, so you mean to tell me that the same stuff that you had in those cans all day, you put it back in there, yep. put it in the freezer, that right there is a tub of gray green beans swimming in a vile looking liquid, which the employee then claims have been in there for three or four days. Oh, green beans. These green beans have been in there for three to four days. Chicken cooked at 1.30 p.m. was placed in a container to be reheated and resold the next day. More like finger licking should have gone to McDonald's. So what would you do if you saw any of these people contaminating your food? And which of these people do you think was the worst? Let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching.